Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Outeny and welcome back in another uh, part of Scotch opening and we will speak about uh, bishop to c5 and I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, I am coming back for the first moves and first moves are e4, e5, knight to f3, and d4 take and in the um, last video we spoke about knight to f6 and today we are speaking about bishop to c5 and I will show a really interesting line where white will take on c6 and of course the most common move is a queen to f6 and i believe that the move to f3 it's really strong and it's really interesting and you can surprise your opponent with this strong move because black will take on c6 by the d pawn and you wish black to take on f3 because you will play with a really better pawn structure and you you can see games what i'm speaking on so knight to c3 and f3 should be move that it's interesting because you wish to go bishop to e3 and you don't want to allow black to play bishop to b4 you are planning to move bishop to e3 as i told you so small castle a big castle bishop to e3 and maybe if black will take on e3 now you can take with a queen you are atta attacking on e7 so maybe this moves you can see that f4 pawn e4 pawn fret f5 or e5 um, probably black will go to e7 and you can see that this position is really interesting for a white you can decide if you will do short castle or long castle but this is advantage so for this reason after a, a long castle bishop to e3 maybe the best move is going to e5 and you are playing the same position bishop to d3 and maybe here you can play h3 because you are worried of bishop to g4 now you are going bishop to f4 and um, to g3 you are attacking on c7 and g7 and bishop to d4 and short castle looks like uh, bishop to e5 is the best move maybe knight to e5 looks really risky because white should go knight to e2 maybe they take and uh, now white is not interesting to exchange queens for this reason maybe it's too risky to take on b2 because black will be under heavy attack you can see that um, black is under attack and because this is a uh, uh, white and light square bishops blacks and light square bishops it should be interesting to play this position for white because after old rule uh, it's a good position for attackers so i'm coming back and in this position it's good to play bishop to e5 and after exchange you are playing for the center you still should remember that you have good pawn structure and this pawn structure it's in your favor nearly every ending it's your advantage so don't worry about exchanging of pieces and just play chess because this is your favorite pawn structure and okay this is a long game um, waiting for you but uh, now it's not a question about if you played well this opening because you played well opening you have good position and you can enjoy this game i will show another game and maybe we'll show more about this opening so i believe that interesting line is to take on c6 going to f3 and maybe maybe black will take with b pawn now i will show you one more variation if black will take with d pawn you can take on f6 play f3 maybe this is is a really simple move knight to b3 bishop to d2 bishop to c3 knight to d4 and you can take advantage of two bishops and you can play uh, really this ending with fun because we have two bishops you have pawn advantage because we have uh, advantage here you have more four pawns against three pawns white and black has here only four pawns but two pawns are really weakened because they are double pawns and this ending is really simple for play i don't 
want to say that it's a winning for white but probably you will never ever lose this ending and only you should play for win so i will speak about this variation once again and if you wish to play game without any risk to lose you can you can uh, take on f6 here and you can uh, remember to play f3 knight to d2 b2 d2 and to d4 and exchange everything with advantage uh, in this game after queen to f3 uh, should be the same position but you are playing with queens on the board so it's a little bit more risky but maybe a little a little bit more uh, interesting uh, here black took on f3 and i will tell you that this Pawn structure is still okay for white because you have open file, you have active um, active bishops, and you are in first in development. You have advantage in center, and I think that this position is still really good for white. You can see with me that white is active, white is playing really simple moves, and don't worry about much. This game, it's interesting for white okay what we can speak here and yes black should take we will take and uh, if black will take with d pawn we are playing the same maneuver bishop to e3 with advantage this advantage is here we have four pawns here black has only three pawns here maybe you were telling me that the same story is uh, here but no because in this um, this part of the board uh, here is double pawn c7 and c6 and this is a disadvantage altogether this one double pawn it's nearly like one pawn so in this position should be white thinking that he should be nearly one pawn up so for this reason um, better is to take the p pawn and uh, good move is going to rook to g1 maybe you can play like the old masters in variation which you know to exchange the bishops long castle bishop to d4 B uh, rook to g1 c5 and you know it's playing nearly the same position but you can you can agree with me that white is okay white is trying to push black and uh, white is trying to win this game maybe it's more interesting to go rook to g1 because black should play knight to e7 of course this is not a threat to take on g7 because of knight to g6 so don't worry too much we can exchange this bishop it's good to remember that this exchange favored white so you can every time it's play without doubt bishop to e3 and uh, once again if black will take on e3 you have this strong um, pawn structure and you have open files you can play for long castle you can play on g file on d file and you can enjoy the game in this game black went to b6 but after c4 is a threat c5 of course black took on uh, on e3 f4 and i will show game where you can feel the how strong the pawn on e4 f4 and d3 are maybe c5 is really thematic because if black will take you can agree with me that this pawn structure for black is a really disaster and don't worry it's, it's a really good game so that should be everything about a scotch opening i believe that you see that this scotch opening is really simple to play it's not hard to understand and Maybe after watching once this video, you are able to play this opening for white and you can improve your play because if you will understand what you are playing, why you are playing these positions, you can be strong in your positions and you can outplay your opponent. So I wish you good luck in a scotch opening and I thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I will see you soon in another our YouTube chess videos. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.